What is up, Trouble Alert Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Yesterday, we covered a story here on Drama Alert about a Call of Duty game, which resulted in a swatting causing an innocent 28-year-old father of two to be shot and killed by police. In that video yesterday, we interviewed the swatter, the individual that made the fake call to police. And I'm proud to announce right now, he is behind bars. The swatter known as Swatastic Tyler Barris was taken into custody last night in California. Now I've seen some people online blame the police for shooting this unarmed man, but I want everyone, my viewers, to see what the police were dealing with going into this situation. Here is the 911 swatting fake police call that Tyler made that caused this innocent man to be shot. Roll it. 911, what is the location of your emergency? Uh, dispatch this 582, standby. Are you still on the line? Are you still on the line? Okay, I just had a, a person call uh, down to the security desk at City Hall, and he said his mother had just, like, uh, hit his dad over the head with a handgun. Okay, I have his phone number, but for some reason, either he is hanging up or I can't transfer it. So I'm going to give you the phone number. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'll go ahead. Okay, call him back. All right, bye. Bye. Hello. This is nine one one. What's going on? Hello. Yeah. This is nine one one. What's going on? Um, I recently got disconnected. I had told you guys everything that happened about the argument with my mom and dad. Okay. What's your address? Yeah, um, it's 10 Mick Street. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. They were arguing and I shot him in the head and he's not breathing anymore. Okay, so what's going on right now? Are you there? Yeah. Okay, do you have any weapons on you? Yeah, I do. What kind of weapons do you have? Um, a handgun. What kind of handgun is it? I don't know, it's my dad. What color is it? It's black. Where exactly are you at in the house? Um, by the closet. Okay, what closet? My mom's. Where's that at in the house? Uh, in her room, which is where she's at, and my little brother. You have a little brother? Yeah. I was on the phone with you guys earlier, um, telling you guys about it. I just I got disconnected. Okay. Well, we're going to try to get you some help. Um, we're exactly in the house. Like, is this a one-story or two-story house? It's one-story. Is it towards the front of the house, the back of the house? Um, well, like, it's, it's like, towards the back, I guess. I'm just pointing the gun at them, making sure they stay in the closet, my mom and my little brother. Okay, is there any way you can put the gun up? No. Are you guys sending someone over here? Because then I'm definitely not going to put it away. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and stay on the phone with you, okay? That's fine. Until they get here, or? As long as you need me to, okay? Yeah, I'm thinking about, um, because I already poured gasoline all over the house. I might just set it on fire. Okay, well, we don't need to do that, okay? In a little bit, I might. Why would you do that? Do you have my address correct? Can you verify it for me again? Um, it's 1033 West McCormick Street. Um, my zip code is 67213. 
Okay. So which way does your house face? Like, does your front door face north, south, east, west? I don't know. It's just facing the street. My dad isn't breathing. It's kind of giving me anxiety, making me, like, paranoid. Hello? I'm still here. I'm still here, okay? Yeah, me too. Okay, are you white, black, Asian, Hispanic? Are you there? Yeah. Are you white, black, Asian, Hispanic? Is is it was an accident, so Okay, that's fine. Are you there? Talk to me. Hello. Are you there? Hello. Complaints indicating I'm sorry, I read the call, it's not correct. The complaint advising he did shoot his dad in the head and he's not breathing. He's also indicating that his mom and brother are in the house and he has them at gunpoint. Did you have any uh, call history with that phone number? I'm looking now. The only thing I've got in there previously was back in August on a stroke. 72-1023 on the air shooting. 72 officers, 1033. You were 10 for the suspect has got the gun and only his Mom and dad, or his mom and brother at gunpoint, is that correct? Wow. So you can see exactly what the police were dealing with and why they thought there was a real situation taking place in that home. But yesterday, we told you that this all started by an argument within a Call of Duty game for $1.50. And I said in yesterday's report that these two were on different teams. Well, it turns out that information was incorrect. They were actually on the same team. And we wanted to give you more information on how this argument started. So we interviewed one of the people that was actually in this game. Roll it. Ladies and gentlemen, we wanted to get more information to figure out how this argument took place on Call of Duty, which ended up in a swatting that caused an innocent man to lose his life. So we got a hold of Look Jeff, not to be confused with FaZe Jeff. This is a different Jeff, but he was actually in this game playing with both of these people that got in the argument. How long have you known Babe and Miracle? I've known Miracle for two years and Babe just a couple months. And so you play with these guys on Call of Duty? You're friends with them? Yeah, that, that's my squad, basically. How did this argument like even start? Like, what happened in that Call of Duty game that that caused this? Well, what happened was they lost first map on Call of Duty or whatever, and then they went to second map, and one of the Miracle team killed Bape, and then it escalated from there, from people talking and talking. And then Bape team killed Miracle, and then Miracle left and started posting stuff on Twitter about Bape's dots and whatnot. So there was an accident team killing within the game where they shot their teammate and then they shot each other. One person quits and Miracle goes forward on Twitter and starts poping, uh, posting, excuse me, Bape's personal address on Twitter. Yes, he starts posting Bape's address on Twitter and he starts telling people, oh, you won't do this to him. I bet you I won't do this because like in the moment they were both heated. They were both arguing. But then after that, Miracle left and just was gone. He just went to Twitter. So now how I understand it is that Bape actually gave the address, all right, the fake address to the swatter to go ahead and swat. How did Bape get that address? Did Miracle set him the fake address? Yeah, Miracle sent him a fake address, which was told by, he told us that it was his old home address, which I wouldn't know because, I mean, that's between them. So that's how it all started. So is I, I just can't believe that this happened. Do you think both of them should be held responsible, like the, the actual swatter? I mean, it's Miracle's fault for giving an address because he should never gave an address at all, just knowing that people around the world are crazy and they do things like this. But everyone's in the wrong, and it shouldn't have escalated this far over a team killing. Right. 
Now, we know who um, Bapster is, all right? Or, excuse me, how do you say his name? Vaporizer. Vaporizer. We know who Vaporizer is. We know what he looks like. We know that he's 18 years of age. And we also heard that he's a son of a police officer. Is that true? Yes. Now, we don't know who Miracle is, all right? But we do know his first name, Shane. Um, do you know how old he is? Miracle is at least in his early 20s. In his early 20s. So both of these individuals that were involved in this are adults. Yes. <sighs> now, Miracle deleted his Twitter. Do you know what his current Twitter is? He has. He went back to Shane XO for life, but I think he's on another Twitter in X Pass Out. Do either one of these people involved think that anything's going to happen to him? Have you spoken to him after all this news came out? I haven't spoken to either one of them after the situation happened, that it went viral. Like, everybody just disappeared. Unbelievable stuff in that interview. Now, I want to let my audience know that there is a GoFundMe to help pay for funeral expenses for the family of the victim. That link is the top link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, we're going to get every detail on this story. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on. If you enjoyed the video, please slap a like on it. Drum Alert Nation, now over 3,200,000 subscribers.